Corporal Kenny McBurney of the Traffic Department expresses concern with the way pedestrians maneuver the streets, which could account for the increase in pedestrian fatalities. I mean, there's sidewalks created, but persons rarely use that sidewalk. What you find is that persons walk in the street, abreast each other. Um, there are areas where vehicles are parked on sometimes both sides of the streets, and persons still walk between those vehicles on the, and the oncoming traffic, putting themselves in danger. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, even when they're doing that, they're not even focusing on the traffic. Persons are not utilizing these pedestrian crossings properly. We see from time to time, persons believe that, okay, it's a pedestrian crossing, so it's my crossing. When I get on it, everybody has to stop. Listen, don't take things for granted. You may be walking across thinking that that driver is in total control of his vehicle, but that may not be the case. You have to, must, you have to first make sure that that driver makes eye contact, as Alice just said, make eye contact with you and sees that you're about to cross or you want to cross. According to President of the Antigua and Barbuda Road Safety Group, Alice Hotak, the focus this year is on curbing destructive driving. A media campaign has been launched with a television ad and a jingle to be released on Wednesday. This year marks the third anniversary of the Decade of Action Road Safety established by the United Nations in May 2011. However, Hotak says more needs to be done in terms of laws and legislation to facilitate the way forward. We need to reduce the speed, we need to have speed cameras installed, and also um, the cost of a ticket for speeding, we can also look at increasing the cost as well. Um, as far as um, drinking and driving is concerned, we would like to introduce a breathalyzer test because the laws has to be updated to accommodate the breathalyzer test. The uh, BOC, which is the blood alcohol content of um, most countries, they have been using like 0.08% and that is about maybe two drinks. Okay. So we, what we would like to also implement here is a zero tolerance for minors, drivers, young drivers and commercial drivers and so on. She adds that other countries have amended laws and legislation and have seen a reduction in road deaths like Jamaica 6% and Trinidad 20%. She details other safety programs under consideration by the group. And we'd also like to introduce a distracted driving course and also a defensive driving course. So defensive driving course will benefit taxi drivers, bus drivers, commercial vehicles. And, and so forth, so they'll be safer on the road. What well, I think can also um, be looked into, into implementing um, the point system, where persons lose points of the license when they, they get into certain, uh, you know, you know, yeah, traffic or oh, yeah, traffic offences. Yeah. Yes. Mac Burney recommends a point system be put in place where persons would lose points from their driver's license, leading to its suspension. He adds that persons deemed as incompetent should be retested by the transport board. Hotak is strongly of the view that there needs to be a national safety council to collaborate with stakeholders in the production of a national plan and budget. Sherilyn Beza reporting for ABS News.